Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about subtracting negative numbers. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The two different types of problems you may encounter when figuring out how to subtract negative numbers. In general, the rule is when you have two negatives next to each other, the negatives will cancel and they will become a positive. Sometimes this is referred to as leave, change, change. In other words, you leave the first one, then you change both the second, this one right here, and this sign right here. So these will both become positive. I like to think of it as instead of rewriting it as a plus and a plus, <clears throat> as one big plus sign like this. When you have the two negatives next to each other, they will cancel and make a positive. In this first example, 3 minus negative 1, we have the two negatives next to each other and we already know that they have to make a positive. So I'm going to say leave change change or that this just becomes a big plus. Rewriting this gives us just 3 plus 1, which is obviously 3 plus 1 is just 4. So that's easy. On the second example, you have a very similar problem except this number in front is negative. So this time it's negative 4 minus a negative 2. So again we have two negatives next to each other. So they become a positive. And when I rewrite it this time, this will be negative 4 plus positive 2. And if you remember, anytime you have a negative plus a positive, or when you have two numbers that are not alike, when you're adding two numbers with different signs, you have to actually subtract them. So we subtract. 4 minus 2 and we get 2 so we know our answer has to be 2 and then in order to determine the sign of the answer you take the sign of the larger number in this case 4 is larger than 2 4 is negative which means your answer also has to be negative so the answer for this is negative 2 jumping to our first problem on our worksheet about how to subtract negative numbers, the first problem gives us 1 minus negative 5. So again, you can use the rule leave change change. So we leave this one and then we're going to change the signs on the next two, this one and this one. When we do that, we're going to make both of these into a plus. Then we can rewrite our problem because we have to change both of these from negative to positive into 1 plus 5. So now it's real easy. Just 1 plus 5, which we know 1 plus 5 is obviously 6. So our answer is going to be 6. The second problem on our negative numbers worksheet gives us negative 1 minus negative 8. This time we have a negative minus a negative. So when you have a negative minus a negative, the same rule applies. You will do leave change change. So we leave this one as negative 1. Then we change this sign, so this changes, and also this changes, so leave change change. So this will become a positive and a positive, or I've been writing as a big plus sign. So you can do it either way. I'm going to rewrite it as a big plus sign. So now our problem is negative 1 plus 8. So now when we add these together, when you have a negative plus a positive, you actually subtract those. So we're going to do 8 minus 1, and we will get 7. So we know our answer has to be 7. And then to determine what the sign is on this, you take the sign of the larger number. So because one's negative and one's positive, you have to look at these and determine which one's larger. In this case, 8 is larger, which means this 7 is going to be positive. So our answer is just going to be positive 7 or just 7. Our last example gives us negative 4 minus negative 2. Again, this problem is a negative minus a negative. Anytime you have a negative minus another negative, you can use the rule leave change change. So we're going to leave this one as negative 4. Then we're going to change this one into a positive and this one into a positive. So I've been rewriting them as a big plus. So leave change change. So now it's negative 4 plus 2. So just plus 2. 
Now, you have negative 4 plus 2. You have two different signs, so a negative and a positive. So to determine the answer to that, you actually subtract them. So 4 minus 2 is 2, so we know it's going to be 2. And then to determine what the sign is of your answer, you look at the two numbers that you subtracted. So negative 4 is larger, or 4 is larger than 2, and because this is negative, that means your answer also has to be negative. So our final answer for our subtracting negative numbers problem is negative 2. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.